so first we'll see capacity building of extension personnel and farmers training for development the training it has become the in, uh, inseparable part of hrd that is human resource development it has become one of the components which enable any institution to churn out its employees as the most productive and most suitable one uh, employees ke puri uh, capacity increase karne mein unhe most productive banne ke liye training if more uh, training help karta hai so we'll see first the definitions of training training is the art of increasing knowledge and skill of an employee for doing a particular job so these are various de definitions of given by different people like training it is a learning process which seeks to relative permanent change in behavior that occur as a result of experience then milton mal he has defined training as a process of aiding employees to gain effectiveness in their present or future work through the development of appropriate habits of thought action skill knowledge and attitude in other words we can say that it is the process through which the knowledge attitude and skill of a person will be developed so that they can work effectively or they can be more productive then we'll see the need for training the process of training has caught up by mainly in industries this can be attributed attributed to sudden and competitive change that is occurring in the world ya competitive world mein agar hame bahut zyada productive hona hai to continuously hamare skills ko enhance karna padta hai to isse training ka need bahut zyada feel hua hai so first need is rapid change in technologies and jobs the people has to do so jo bhi jobs mein rapid technological change aane wo technological change समझने में उसे यूज करने में ट्रेनिंग की जरूरत पड़ती है देन इंटरमीडिएट एंड लॉन्ग टर्म स्किल्स शॉर्टेज जो एक जॉब करने के लिए एम्प्लॉय के पास जो स्किल चाहिए वो स्किल्स उनके पास नहीं होते तो वो स्किल डेवलप करने के लिए ट्रेनिंग ट्रेनिंग लेना पड़ता है देन चेंजेस इन एक्सपेक्टेशन एंड कंपोजिशन ऑफ वर्क फोर्स एन कॉम्पिटिशन एंड मार्केट प्रेशर फॉर इंप्रूवमेंट इन क्वालिटी ऑफ प्रोडक्ट एंड सर्विसेस so these are the various needs of training next we'll see the training process in case of training the focus will be on the on job or person on the job in the organization so those who are on job for them the training will be given it will focus both on the starting point and the end with the difference our training what we at starting point how the knowledge knowledge of that employee was after training what difference he has gained so that both will be considered so training process will has three phases pre training training and post training we'll see this one by one in detail now in pre training it is process starts with understanding the situation which calls for behavior that is more effective pre training phase mein kya hota hai jahan pe training ki need hai kya nahi wo check ki jata hai kise ne training chahiye कौन सी स्किल्स के डेवलप करने चाहिए जो भी ट्रेनिंग के पहले वो सारे मैनेजमेंट या फिर व्हाई वी हैव टू डू इट हाउ हाउ द ट्रेनिंग विल बी कंडक्टेड वेदर इट विल बी कंडक्टेड फॉर वन डे वन वीक वन मंथ हाउ फॉर हु विल गिव द ट्रेनिंग फॉर हु विल बी द फॉर हुम इट विल बी गिवन व्हाट विल बी द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ ट्रेनिंग एवरीथिंग विल बी डिसाइडेड इन द प्री ट्रेनिंग फेज the the key aspect of process is analysis of situation and job on which improved performance is to be achieved yahan pe analysis situation ka analysis hota hai aur training need kyu hai training ki need kyu hai wo yahan pe study ki jati hai it begins with the description of the job to be changed what is the present class situation and how the situation has to be changed based on this the study will be done in the pre training phase now technical requirement of job is not enough but also knowledge on operational description of job is required so that training program can be designed to meet out those requirements job ki kya requirement uske hisab se training ko design kiya jata hai pre training phase mein second aspect is organization uh, receptivity to more effective behavior of trained people how far organization would respond to change in knowledge and skill of the trainee after he returns from training is also considered in this phase 
who feels the need of this new behavior is it immediate superior of organization itself or training himself has to be taken into account for effective training program so these all will be the questions which will be dealt in pre training phase next is the training phase training phase is actually where the training will be conducted most of the training uh, programs would be for a session or an evening course or a residential program so in training program the trainee will be exposed to the new subject matter new people new atmosphere new sub, uh, skill so where he has to participate he has to make familiar with the situation he has to learn those all new things he has to focus his attention on the subject of his interest and he should be in working with those other participants there would be several question in the mind of trainee such as uh, such that he is lacking the skill required for the job or what it is an opportunity given him by an for by an organization where he can work sincerely work or whether it is a plan for organization to keep away from organize so such are the questions which will be running in the mind of the trainee with all such question in the mind there will no guarantee that trainee will learn what he has chosen to learn so his mind would deviate and he would learn something of his interest from the training prior so the this error in selection would be due to lack of necessary capabilities of the trainee or irrelevant training design and methodology followed by the training institution so training institution has to select the trainee properly they have to give develop the training design properly and also the method of training also should be adopted properly finally after overcoming the hurdles in the initial stage of training program the participant would explore the training situation what interest him the more in which jisme usse interest zyada hai uske bare mein wo explore karne lagta hai and after exploring he finds it useful he tries to again check and uh, check for his effectiveness and satisfaction if he if he is is satisfied with the results he decide to incorporate it in in the, in the organization or during his work if he does not find it is satisfaction then he will discard those things and he will discontinue his learning third is the post training phase here situation will situation changes the participants they will go after taking training they will go back to their workplace they'll meet their colleagues he goes prepared prepared with some anticipation as he has been away from them for a while he'll come back learning some new ideas now these new learn learn skills will cause some modifications and with this modification he has to fit with the work situation if the organization were encouraging and helping the participant would use his training for the betterment of his organization if the organization won't support then he will not use that information and here it will lag so on other hand if organization is resented in his absence and if his table is loaded with the work he would feel extra burden and would work to make up for lost time he would lose his interest to make use of training and then he will uh, break off with the whatever knowledge he has taken next we will see the training process models there are several models for training processes of which three are important models that is simple model of training process elaborated model and spiral model these are the three important training process model then we'll see the training strategy effective training calls in the first place for clarity of objective and means first important thing in training is what are the objective of training and through how these objectives will be achieved in that respect it is just like manufacturing process both the ends and means must be appropriate to the purpose jo bhi um, start of the training process or end of the training process it should be surrounded to the objectives of the training so relating them demands clear uh, clear specification for each part of training task include resources of time skill facilities required for it ensuring this responsibility as the first order it is necessary to consider four strategic questions which will be examined in turn the first and second are called as external strategy so what are the uh, questions strategic questions that is establishing training goals defining training specification 
then the next were the outcomes of internal internal strategy these are the internal strategy and first were the external strategy internal strategy includes organizing the training inputs and improving the training institutions so we'll see them one by one first we have the external strategy external strategy is concerned with two types of question first is what are the training goals that is the changes to be affected and second is number and kinds of people who therefore are need to be trained and resource of time skill facilities required for this particular training these are the external strategies first we will see the establishing training goals here training institution don't set any goals they set tasks to work on goals which training can help to reach now they will uh, training institution kehte hai wo goal set nahi karte balki task set karte hai jahan pe wo work karke training conduct karke us point tak wo pahunchte so two strategic questions are asked in establishment of training goals are the goals realistic and is the training input and besides in development are also realistic so these are the two question asked while establishing the training goals these are the two step before the setting up of the training course after a change is decided is training much necessary and defining the part that training play in change so first we'll decide the goals then after goals ek baar decide hote hain ke baad हम डिसाइड करेंगे कि कौन सा पार्ट चेंज होने वाला है कौन सी स्किल चेंज होने है, और उस स्किल को चेंज करने के लिए यह ट्रेनिंग जरूरी है अगर जरूरी है तो किस पार्ट में किस ट्रेनिंग क्या रोल प्ले करेगा इस चेंज को लाने के लिए सो दीज आर द क्वेश्चन आंसर वेल एस्टेब्लिशिंग द ट्रेनिंग गोल्स देन वील सी द डिजाइनिंग द एक्सटेंशन ट्रेनिंग प्रोग्राम while training plan provides a structure for training the design of training program provides its content jo bhi training program ka design hoga usme hame training program ka sara content hoga training plan provides the broad parameters within which training is required to take place in according with the assess training needs of extension per personnel within the framework of extension training policy the design of training program ऑपरेशनलाइजेस द ट्रेनिंग प्लान एंड प्रोवाइड द एक्चुअल ट्रेनिंग डिजाइन में क्या ट्रेनिंग प्लान में सारा कुछ प्लान किया जाता है पैरामीटर्स को लिस्ट आउट किया जाता है आफ्टर द ट्रेनिंग नीड असेसमेंट और डिजाइन में एक्चुअली वो प्लान वर्कआउट किया जाता है उसे हम डिजाइन बोलते हैं वेल डिजाइन ट्रेनिंग प्रोग्राम विल गो लॉन्ग वे इन एंश्योरिंग द सक्सेस ऑफ ट्रेनिंग इंटरवेंशन सो if the training program is ill designed then it will be to lead to the failure so we have to well well design the training program so step following are the steps in designing a training program first is objective of training program skill mix and third step is the curriculum development in objectives of training program this is the first step in designing the training program it is a clear statement of objectives of training we have to give the clear statement why this training program is conducted these objectives will be based on the training need assessment that is tna of extension personnel and stated in order of priority from general to specific first general objective will be given then later specific objectives these will objectives will be according to the training need assessment then these objective have to be stated in terms of knowledge skill attitudes and attributes which the trainee will gain at the end of the training program so what will for example now objective of training is provide um, communication communication skill so he will learn the communication skill over here so the a uh, clear expression of objective of training program will enable trainers to have a clear idea that what they have to expect from the training so from this uh, seeing the objectives the trainee will understand what the information he is going to gain from this training for example any uh, statistical analysis uh, training is there suppose spss training program is there that is statistical package for social science so this objective of this uh, training will be to Uh, help 
working with the SPSS. So the trainee will they will ex, uh, they will accept that uh, they will get the clear idea that after attending this program, I'll understand the working of SPSS or I can have the I can do data analysis through SPSS. At the simple level of treatment, the objectives of training program fall under two categories. One is general behavior objectives and specific here. So both type of objective are to be required to be stated in the objective of training program. At more sophisticated level of treatment, following the Bloom's taxonomy of educational objectives, the training objective can be classified into three classes. That is cognitive objective, psychomotor objective and affective objective and their subclasses. So these are the classification of objective based on the Bloom's taxonomy. If the design of training program is conceptualized to the consist of objectives, uh, if, if a training program is conceptualized to consist of objective learning experience evaluation, then the objective provide the base upon this which subsequent structure of learning experience and evaluation can be built. So based on these objectives, further our evaluation plan will be developed. So this is the important phase of designing a training program. Next is the skill mix. Second step is to determine the appropriate skill mix for different level of extension purpose. So uh, cast here has postulated three types of skills for a manager. Example, technical skill, human skill, and conceptual skill. For example, now field level personnel like village level extension worker and agriculture extension of here require technical skills in ample measure, human skills in fairly good measure, and conceptual skills in moderate measure. So this is the example where skill mix, technical skills will be the actual technical process, what, uh, what, uh, how to handle an equipment and all. Human skills in how to interact with humans. And conceptual means the theoretical knowledge. So this mix, these three skills should be mixed in a proper way to design a proper training program depending on for whom we are giving the training. Then next is the curriculum development. Specific curriculum is required to be developed for a specific training course which is organized in response of assess training needs. So curriculum, like a course, suppose we have a course of extension. So in that course, uh, for example, uh, we have rural development course. So uh, what all the chapters will are there for rural development course, like how it will be given. That is the curriculum. Likewise, for training course also specific curriculum should be developed for each training course, depending upon the training needs which are being assessed. So no ready-made curriculum exists for the purpose. There is a specific curriculum we have to develop for the each training program as per the specific target group. Its, it's challenge lies in the fact that it is interdisciplinary. We cannot focus on only single discipline. It is depend on the many disciplines. So curriculum development is required to anticipate the future needs. Then components of uh, standard curriculum we can say course objectives what so that is what are the objectives what are the targets that will be achieved how will be the course structure how it will be assessed assessment will be done and course content so these are the components of standard curriculum next we'll see conducting an active training program a training program can be totally successful only if effective exercise have been worked out previously so if we practice if there is a practice which is done about the conducting a training program, then only our training program will be successful. So steps in conducting is first step is preparing yourself mentally. If you are going to give training for someone, first you have to prepare yourself mentally. That is, you should be comfortable with the course content, thorough preparation well in advance, whatever materials required for the training program, manuals, then audio visual equipments, whether they are connected properly, whether the classroom is well arranged, whether the place where you are training, you are, you are going to give, whether it is uh, correctly arranged. If you want to, uh, if a question is asked and you do not know the answer, give it as group exercise. Another way is to write them down and promise that you will find the answer. You should be mentally prepared and you should not, repeating the course may be bored one to the trainer, but not to the new training. So you should focus on every part of the aspect and you should focus on each participation. This is the first step that is preparing yourself mentally. 
second is arranging the physical environment wherever you are going to take uh, training that is whether it will be in the classroom whether it you know, in the hall or a open space you have to see the physical like sitting arrangement then whether you want a chalkboard or whether you want some equipments or models so whether you you have to make the arrangement of all this and you have to also see that when you talk from the point whether each and every person away in that space is able to hear you clearly so these all things you have to look out in arranging the physical environment third is greeting the participants and establishing program so once the uh, the program has started first is you have to greet the participants like you have to first give them a welcome speech you have to address them to mention few is i have got something for you this would make them feeling some among the participants that they have a person with much greater knowledge and experience to his credit and then i have been through this too this makes be feeling among the participants and training so like we, I, i admire you that is the greetings of the participants on the higher side so different uh, by through words also you can uh, greet them and also you can arrange some short refreshment in between training you can give them break you can uh, have a good conversation during those breaks so this is the greeting participants and establishing program fourth is getting the best from the first 30 minutes of trainers the first 30 minutes of any classroom period is most crucial period which a trainer should not trample upon it is called the grave period according to napian and greenfield during which any over hostility or antagonism will be submerged under veneer of politeness watchfulness and reserve it is during this time that participant perceive what role they expect to play during the training program what they intend to accomplish during the training so first 30 minutes of any training program this is the best time where you can get best out of this training program where the trainers will the train trainees will be in full attention mode they will grasp easily and they will start expecting well, like what they will gain from this training program fifth is reviewing the agenda in the beginning moments of the program one should make clear of what is going to be done that is what is accepted from the program what is uh, expected from the participants what is our uh, agenda that is how the training program will be conducted what are the sessions these all should be once it should be presented before the starting of the training then sixth is the inviting feedback once the training is finished you have to invite the feedback that is you have to take collect the feedback from the participant whether the training program was useful whether they have found some problems whether there was miscommunication so whatever feedback you have to collect it from the uh, participants then the assessment of training needs now training need it is defined as uh, training need is matching in terms of what is going on now and what should go on now or in future so the gap between what ought to be and what should be what is and what ought to be the gap between that is the defined as training need so dugan uh, led he is well known training expert committed that training need exist when individual lacks the knowledge and skills to perform the assigned task that is what agar ek task perform karne hai uske paas knowledge or skills kam pad rahe to us waqt training need ki zarurat training ki zarurat mehsoos hoti hai so this is the training need assessment so before organizing a training program it is necessary to de determine correctly the training needs of group of the person whether there is actually need of training or no that we have to determine the training needs may be determined in three ways first from a an analysis of organizational change the organization must change if it is successful to meet new condition or must the operations conducted within the organization that is this means that people who operate the system procedures and role of organization must be trained to accept the new jobs and new skills so this is by analysis of organization we can understand the needs of training second is analysis of work problems suppose there is inefficiency or problem in working so that that is analysis of work and thirdly training need can be derived to analysis of manpower wastage data that is 
comparing the performance achieved in the job with performance demanded by the job needs and that that is what are the performance accepted by the uh, expected by the organization and what is the performance level of the actual worker so depending on that analysis we can the uh, assess whether there is need, need of training the training needs could be in area of skill knowledge and change in attitudes individual train requires training to overcome problem as well as to avoid creating problematic situations in an organization wo problem overcome karne ke liye bhi training ki zarurat hoti hai aur problematic situation future mein na aaye isliye bhi training lena training need uh, mehsoos hoti hai so it has been observed that most of the problematic situations are people centered when individuals have to learn new skill replace incorrect habit with productive habits modify attitudes and acquire additional knowledge training is one of the best management tools available so then we'll see the principle involved in planning and conduct of training program training and in an organization is essentially a learning process where the he you know people they learn about some skill knowledge they'll gain knowledge or they will change their attitude the aim of the process is to develop in organization employees the knowledge skill and attitudes that have been defined as necessary for their effective performance so various sub components and sub components of training first is the knowledge under knowledge we have knowledge of extension methods subject matter knowledge knowledge of clients problem and their solution knowledge of farm farm families farming system knowledge of farm economics input supply and marketing then under skills we have communication skill technological skill demonstration skills organization skill training skill and diagnostic skills in attitude we have attitude for serving clients attitude for acquiring latest knowledge and technology attitude of problem solving attitude for field work attitude for self development so these are the sub components of attitude and under attributes we have personality traits conducts empathy experience and self development so training objectives under any program whether it be trained or extension work should have objectives which are to be achieved there are four objectives for example we, uh, so at level 1 the type of objectives policy or organization then what sh uh, it should tell us general direction of efforts or order of priorities then second uh, level is target that is how much it, it is aimed operational objectives who has to do is what in order to attain the targets and fourth is the training object that is who are the learners and what learning products are required so these are the different objectives type of objective and what it will tell us then principle involved in training training should be based on principles of first is achievement of organizational objective training should be in direction with the organizational objective then the training should be based on the training need assessed tna that is training need assessment which we have done previously based on this the training should be developed then training objectives they are expected learning behavior what are training is expected to learn training should be flexible level of learners it should then past experience it should also take into account the past experience and existing knowledge of the trainees it should be a cooperative or collective process where in part active participation of learner teaching learning process it is a continuous process informed options that is alternatives which are available learning varies from individual to individual and individual creation of in learning environment so these are the various principle involved in training so building up a training program any training program whether it is extension activity or training activities it has following activities so we will see the roles of the uh, trainer in every phase of training so trainer role the various trainer roles can be seen in three distinct phases that is train pre training training and post training so in pre training first is the training designer the role of trainer will be as training designer the role of identifying and translating the training needs into objective content and designing the training program this is the main role of trainer in pre training that is he will collect and identify the training needs 
he will list the objective he will work out on the content methods exercise he will sequence those activities he will identify the resource person and he will prepare and select the learning material then second role is of the trainer is as the administrator or the organizer the role of ensuring and meticulously planning in advance the facilities जो भी ट्रेनिंग के लिए फैसिलिटीज लगेंगे वो सारे प्लान करना जैसे लर्निंग मटेरियल्स को लाना इक्विपमेंट्स जो जरूरी है वो लाना पार्टिसिपेंट्स के बाद अदर कंपोनेंट ऑफ इवेंट उन्हें कोऑर्डिनेट करना दैट इज चूज लाइक चूजिंग वेन्यू एंड टाइम सिलेक्टिंग एंड शेड्यूलिंग फैसिलिटीज रेग्युलरली कम्युनिकेटिंग द प्लान विद द ट्रेनिज आइडेंटिफाइंग एंड अरेंजिंग द नीड्स शेड्यूलिंग द टाइम ऑफ कोर ट्रेनिज एंड रिसोर्स पर्सन डिस्ट्रीब्यूटिंग ट्रेनिंग मटेरियल्स अरेंजिंग द रिसोर्सेज these are the works as seen by the training as an administrator or the organizer then during training the trainee a trainer will work as the facilitator where he will the role of guiding the learning process so that individual learn from each other and group functions effectively so here he fu his uh, function will be eliciting the uh, opinions then enhancing the participation focusing the trainee's attention on and potentialities summarizing and synthesizing information organizing groups such as issues and needs are addressed and intervening in the process then as a instructor the role of, of presenting information and concepts clarifying objective creating and sustaining the structured learning environment and helping generate the new learning so he, he, as a trainer role as instructor he will provide the information and concept he will direct the structure uh, learning that is he will guide in role play games discussions he will uh, use the learn learning aids like film uh, audio tapes video tapes and other materials so as a counselor he will play the role of counselor where he will role of supporting and guiding individual trainees during the period of stress and strain and he will help the training to act assess their potentialities their personal competence so that they can develop a rapport with he develops the rapport with the trainee show genuine interest in directing their process of growth communicating one to one basis organizing sessions to enhance self confidence and self esteem and fourth function in during the training is he will work as a recorder that is he will maintain the records observe keenly both flow of concept and process maintain the detail note on daily basis and fifth is the evaluator he will evaluate the impact of training that is he plans the evaluation mechanism using writing as well as verbal reports to assess the event he utilizes the evaluation design to assess the individuals forming the steering committee to assess in day to day evaluation conducts mid term reviews sharing reflection and analysis with co trainers he provide relevant feedback so the, this is the work we done as the evaluator then organizer administrator or manager so he is the manager there who will manage all the training program he will manage time and space of each session solving problem related to accommodation and food he organizes the reservation departure or arrivals manages the learning situation so these are the different functions as a administrator or manager of the training program then post training he will be the report writer the role of preparing the report of the training program where organizing the relevant information for report writing will disseminate these reports to all participants and other interested and he will follow up the coordinator that is the role of continuing contacts with the individual and their organization to assess the impact of training on organization as well as individuals and providing necessary follow up support so follow up also he will do is a communicating in regular intervals he will invite the feedback from organization as well as individuals he will call, uh, see of the learning needs for next event and also providing support in field so these are the various function in of trainer in 